Nice! Yeah, it's been glued on. That was a really dumb move on someone's behalf. Also here. The aluminum looks good. Just a little bit of a clean up. Get ready to rumble. <laughs> <laughs> if you were wondering what caused all of this rotten plywood, well here is the answer. Earlier on we took out this AC unit that had been sitting here dripping and causing condensation. Pölyistä. Sä oot ihan tämmönen harmaa. Mun pitää imurel sut. What did you find? Well, just a little bit. Like frozen, I think. It was under the glass fiber. Fiber glass. Yep. But that's nothing, that's like uh, less than a millimeter deep surface corrosion. That's exactly where the fiberglass pad was, right? Mm. The one that I took yeah, off. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. 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 That's what happens when you put fiberglass on aluminum. Don't do it, kids. That's what happens when you put fiberglass and plywood directly on aluminum and then keep it wet for several years. So that was from uh, the AC was installed by one of the first owners, I think. And uh, yeah, it's aluminum doesn't really, you know, it doesn't corrode from just water, but if you cover it with something like it was covered here with, it was fiberglass directly on the aluminum and then plywood as well and um, if the water doesn't, if it's like really stagnant and the ox oxygen can't get in then there will be corrosion but um, I'm actually kind of surprised that we are finding so little there because the wood was like really rotten like if this was a, if this was a steel boat we would be like replacing these plates here but um, now it's fine and the bottom plate there is 10 millimeters deep or 10 millimeters thick anyway so it doesn't really um, doesn't really matter at all here the digging continues just to make sure that there's nothing there but yeah they the fiberglass really stuck it's really st I'm surprised that it's so stuck onto the aluminum Oh, yep, oh. this is the best part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so with the destroyer. <laughs> so with the master obliterator on this boat. After one more day of sanding, grinding, cleaning and ripping out rotten plywood, the lockers started to look good enough. Now we knew that the hull underneath was in good condition. Just need to rebuild that storage space, make like a new floor, but it's gonna be fine. But one thing I noticed here, I was getting a little bit um, hot, so I thought let's open the hatch. And I checked all of the hatches when we were buying this boat, or at least I thought so, because this one, when I open it, see what happens. <laughs> there is something wrong here. I don't know what, but it seems something is moving, something that shouldn't be moving. But we are likely gonna replace all of the acrylic anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, we have this little duck there. I saw it the other day and it was kind of like limping, is that the word, like not walking very well. 
and looked kind of poor and then I gave her water or him I don't know and now she has been coming back to the boat so now I give her again the fresh water yeah we've been giving fresh water each day and each day she also drinks all of it remove things <laughs> I like to demolish things <laughs> they had these weird wooden pieces at the bottom I can show you something like this like unfinished fiberglass and they were kind of fiberglass in so so we took out like all of the fiberglass and all of this crap and I don't know why they made them like this but Obviously this is not a good design, so at some point we're gonna use these as templates and make um, new floors here, removable floors, maybe even out of some kind of plastic or then it might be um, painted plywood. But definitely not gonna have this kind of uh, weird fiberglass crap here. <coughs> The interior is pretty good, but I don't know what they were thinking when they were like doing these inside lockers. They are just somehow completely unfinished, or at least a lot of them, so just need to fix it. Today it's seriously hot, it's uh, plus 40 degrees Celsius, that is 104 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. So let's see what's happening here inside the boat. Mmm, it looks like someone's enjoying the air conditioning. <laughs> it's a nice little air conditioning unit. It's a window unit that uh, Mark lent to us, but uh, unfortunately it's not even close to being powerful enough on a day like this to keep the boat cool so you know we have this or I made this setup where the ducting runs all the way and then you can like take it where you want and currently <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so yes that's all of it maybe you can we can put little like a some, have some kind of an astronaut to it and then you can put it like in your back or something you know <laughs> supply you with um, cold air but yeah seriously it's hot today I don't know what we're going to do I think I'm going to just show you the things that we have planned for the for the refit and probably go through the list I think that's going to be interesting because um, there is a lot to do and then you will get some kind of fun overview Alrighty, here is the list and it's all nice and prioritized um, so the red ones are the ones where we need some help um, we cannot do all of that stuff on our own so those are the highest priority because getting professionals to work and especially marine industry takes some time then the pink ones are the ones that we definitely need to do um, also need to do before we can go back into water and then we have you know some greenish and yellow those are like the lower priority ones and before we start going through the list I just wanted to say um, Thanks for all the comments and all the encouragement in the recent videos. Uh, the last few videos have really kind of blown up and gotten a lot of views. So it's been a little bit overwhelming as, as well. And I do try to read through all of the comments, but um, at the moment there is no way that I can reply to each and every one of you, especially 
with all of this stuff that we have here and all of this stuff that we need to do but now if you have any good ideas uh, for us uh, on how to do some of these then please um, uh, just leave us a comment and uh, uh, once again I will I will read through them and I will try to reply to as many as I can so let's start so here in the first row we have a um, bunch of welding jobs first first so what we want to have welded is we want to weld all of the through hulls uh, shut uh, so that we will have no uh, valves under the water line and we will design a standpipe system and this is all also in preparation for the boat to be able to freeze into ice um, a little bit safer you know we'll make a transducer box so that the transducer has a double skin and so on and then we'll ask the same welder to do make us a diesel day tank and a um, grey water tank possibly and so on then standing rigging all needs to be renewed running rigging needs to be renewed and so on and sales probably too for the standing rigging and uh, a lot of the rigging stuff we are working together with uh, Selden and I'm really happy for that because we've already been in contact with them and there's really it's really a complicated job because we have some issues with the current rigging and it's uh, not the correct size and some of the shards are too long and the um, eyes are incorrect diameter and so on so there's a lot to think about and we've been getting like some really good um, help and tips from them and then uh, we have uh, electric system we need to finish the design we need to think about the batteries lithium or not and so on then we need to recommission the engine and polish the diesel or do something about the diesel that we have here it seems pretty good but it's uh, 15 years old uh, propeller shaft we have a new prop shaft and we need to install that one make sure that it fits uh, and uh, do a bunch of stuff relating to that then navigation electronics it's gonna be all new stuff um, probably or most of it at least and that's gonna be some work as well to install that but that we can do all also when the boat is in the water and actually my experience is that once you have the um, basic electric wiring done then the navigation electronics are actually not that um, difficult to install then the second row and we here we have the rudder the rudder is also completely new because the old one was stolen we need to make sure that it fits and make sure that the bearings are okay and that the sealing system is okay then we need to paint the rear dagger board so this kind of an extra dagger board that we have um, in the aft section of the boat and that one is the only one that we're going to sand all the way back to aluminum and then fully paint with uh, barrier coats and so on all of the other stuff um, all of the other paint here especially top sides and deck is just cosmetic because it's all aluminum so we are not really worried about that and at some point we want to sandblast the, the top sides and the deck back to bare aluminum anyway so we are not gonna worry about paint chipping off and so on that's just cosmetic we do need to paint some anti-skid on the aft deck though because that's a security feature and um, currently there's a portion of the aft deck where there is no anti-skid then we need to clean water tanks and do some more cleaning I need to check the propane system because um, uh, I noticed there's some garden hose that has been used as propane hose and that's not really good. We are gonna go with composting toilet um, or desiccating toilet however you want to call it and the reason for that is that um, we are gonna get rid of the through hulls and we know that the current black water tank is not functional so going for composting toilet seems to be the easiest option and we also want to be able to um, properly dispose of the of the waste in, in sensitive areas. Um, 
port lights and hatches at least the hatches we need to renew and um, maybe some of the uh, actual windows as well and um, then the last row is just uh, miscellaneous stuff just stuff that we need to buy basically and that's not so um, urgent so what we have here is the dinghy we need a dinghy and a dinghy engine jack stays life raft some items for the galley and then we need uh, cushions uh, we'd like to have a sauna uh, in the boat but that probably has to wait because we have so many other things to do and then heating and uh, heating systems there will be a diesel drip stove and then also possibly a forced air diesel heater but currently that's not a priority because obviously it's pretty hot here but where we are heading soon it's gonna be cold so we do need to get that done pretty soon so that was all of it i think i know that's a lot and earlier on i said yeah three months um to be ready to sail and i know that's kind of pushing it and a lot of people have said oh well that's way too optimistic but um obviously we are not trying to complete all of this while we are in the yard some of that we will have to do underway but you know a couple of months and uh, we should be sailing let's see how that goes keep on following along and if you haven't subscribed to the channel then um, it would be really great if you could do so it actually helps us out uh, quite a bit and of course there is the patreon as well if you do happen to have the extra cash to support the project i'll see you all next time Bye-bye.